Hey everybody, how's it going? Right here I have the new Barca home jersey. I think a few reviews have already been done. It's been a while since it came out. People have been saying it's not the best looking and yeah, based on the pictures it really isn't. But I guess we gotta help Barca pay them bills somehow. And yeah, let's just check it out. A little close up, a little try on and see how we get it up real quick. Let's see it. A lot of paper they put on it for the packaging up real quick and here we have it the Barcelona 2021 2022 home kit of course in person everything looks much better it kind of has like the badges look but a bit obviously bigger right here has the the flag right here the stripes here the bottom stripes on the bottom I feel like they could have combined the colors a bit differently to make it stand out a bit more and not look as you know I don't know but weird but either way it's a barcelona kit i'm a barcelona fan so i'm gonna be wearing it it's my club the tags over here it's a bit different tag probably to use up less um yeah the move to zero thing they've been doing which is pretty cool using bottles to make the jersey i think that's a, an amazing movement and stuff but yeah i'm gonna try it up and put up a close-up for you guys All right, so just some final thoughts on the jersey. I really like it. It's probably because I'm a Barca fan, but I saw a lot of hate comments towards it. And I do think it looks a lot better in person than it looks like in um, like the pictures, the way they were promoting it. The colors didn't really look that nice, but in person, I really like it. Yeah, so I was recording the video last week for this jersey. It was like a Thursday or something. And I was like, oh, I'll finish it up tomorrow. I'll give my final thoughts on it. And then Friday came and the news came out that Messi was leaving and that kind of shook me. I was like... Oh. I wasn't expecting it. We all thought he would renew. Like, we know he's con his contract was out, but I was like, oh, he's going to renew, you know, it's going to be all fine. But I guess not. It all took us by surprise and he left and he's in PSG now, of course. So that really shook me. Uh, for Barca, things are kind of rough financially, but I think we have a solid squad, a solid midfield. We have Pedri, Busquets, De Jong. We have good attacking players. Hopefully, Coleman can combine them nicely, but I guess we'll just have to see how, how it goes throughout this time. Apparently, some players aren't registered yet, like the new signings, like Depay, who has been doing really good in this preseason, but I think everything will turn out fine. I don't think things are going to be as bad as we think. They might be because of our dependence on Messi, but... Coleman seems like a good manager to handle the team from here, so we'll just have to see, have faith in the team, and see what comes from it. A lot of good youngsters, Ansu Fati should be coming back soon, so that should be cool. And yeah, so just have faith in the team and let's see. And for PSG and Messi, I'm just so happy Messi's in a team where he could, uh, you know, just kind of shine a bit more and not have everybody be so dependent on him. Of course, everybody's gonna be expecting the Champions League from him, but we'll just have to see. He has a super team, Neymar, Mbappe, the midfield, the defense, Sergio Ramos. It's going to be interesting to see how they play together. But yeah, just hope the best for Messi. I'm just so grateful for everything he's done. Of course, I'm going to watch all his games. And on the jersey side of things, here's some crazy stuff. So I had the number 30 jersey for Messi, like customized in the car, and then the number 19, right? And I was like ready. I was like, I'm going to buy it, you know? And for the Messi side of me, right? But then like... I just remember the rivalry and stuff with Barca and all like the past games and stuff. I remember on Twitter, the PSG fans were going crazy. I remember when Barca arrived, they were like, 
doing stuff like here's a little example marshall wise the way jersey the purple one I, I was like, it came out like a few days, right? For a few days it was out and I was like, oh, I'll buy tomorrow, I'll buy tomorrow. Do not wait. The jersey sold out instantly. It like, well, not instantly, but it took like a few days. And the next time I tried to check like the jersey on soccer.com, it was sold out. They only had like three extra large and that was delayed until like October or something. And then the next day I checked and like they had some medium sizes. I added it to cart, like the authentic one, because I wanted to, you guys to see the authentic away jersey for Barca this season, because it just looked like really nice. And I had it in my cart and everything. And I said it was back ordered until November. So I was just like mind blown, you know? But any other new jersey that will be coming out soon, of course I'm gonna get it so you guys can see the reviews. I have been slacking a bit on this channel. But yeah, also for Barca, I'd like to do like a career mode on FIFA to like, you know, just have some fun. I'll be uploading that soon for the, la I'll just do like the last FIFA career mode for FIFA 21. And then when FIFA 22 comes out, that should be interesting. We could just all pick a team and I'll do the career mode. We can do decisions and stuff. Just try to make it fun, something different. We'll, we'll just make it something fun. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see that, that should be up probably in the next week and i'm also gonna have the club america away jersey review very soon after this video so be on the lookout for that and yeah Vizcal Barca, let's see how it goes full faith on the team full faith on the squad and let's see what comes of it and yeah all right so something i almost forgot to show you guys the barca hat right here i think it's really sick you see how it's like uh this way it looks simple right nice and cool like something you can wear every day and then right here just has a completely different pattern based off the jersey. I think it's really sick. But one thing I would tell you is do not go, if you have a big head, go like, don't, don't lie to yourself. You have a big head, try to get the large because I got a medium large or something like that. I think there's like three options. There's like a small, there's like a small, a medium large and like a large something. But I'd go with the large if I were you because I got a, uh, medium medium large I believe it was and like this is how it is like not forcing it or anything and this is how it is like putting it down it's a bit tight I don't know if you could tell but either way it looks sick it's not something I could wear all day though because it's really tight uh, don't lie to yourself if you have a big head go for the bigger size I lie to myself people always tell me I have a big head so yeah I should have listened to them and yeah either way it's something sick I think it's really unique uh, the double pattern it has over here and over here. Beautiful badge, of course, like always. The Nike symbol on the back. So yeah, if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. Be true to your size, of course. This is a medium. And yeah, I don't know if it would work as a reference, but on my hats, I usually leave um, one, two, three, four. I leave five, five buttons out of, uh, out of seven buttons, I leave five open. So... That's kind of my size. If you're that size, go for the bigger one. And yeah, thank you for watching.